sister and I are at Goodwill. And there's lots of crazy stuff happening. That kid's blowing on a harmonica that he just found in a bin. <laughs> that is disgusting. So we got some cool stuff here, a bunch of cases. This nice big Sonic. A Diddy Kong. And some more cases. And a few, some Legos. Some of these little Game Boy toys. Just a bunch of cool little stuff. So I'll show you all the stuff I find later. Okay, so, <clears throat> home now from uh, an outing today. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So, right here, I have tons and tons of Legos. Those are the little specialty pieces and people. Um, I bought these from my sister's friend, and then on the way home, we found a big box of free stuff outside and brought that home and there's a bunch of Legos in there so this is probably about between three and six pounds and then from Goodwill I got this little bag of Legos here and then uh, this is the Goodwill stuff so I got the Sonic that I showed you guys he's about 12 to 15 inches tall I got the, the Diddy Kong that I showed you guys. He's about six to eight inches tall. I got uh, a webcam because I lost the one that I had. So I had to replace that. Um, and then I got, well the cord is kinda, here's a cord, it's it's a, an AV cable for a Sega Genesis Model 1. And then I also got power cord for a Super Nintendo. I got a case and insert for Smash Brothers Melee. No game. I got a bunch of DS, uh, empty DS cases. Just a couple more. I got one of these clear plastic cases for a Nintendo 64 game or an NES game or a Super Nintendo game. Um, I found a box for a Nintendo DS Lite charger. There's no charger in here, but I do find chargers all the time, so once I find a charger, I can put it in here, and it's just kind of, it's kind of like a cool little collection piece. It's probably not, it's not worth anything. Um, I found a PS1 game, uh, Midway Arcade's Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection 1. This is complete, and the disc is like brand new. It's pretty amazing. And I found a game, a GameCube game. This is a really nice find. Tales of, of Symphonia. Both discs. They're in pretty good shape. Uh, no manual though. But other than the, other than the manual, it's complete. <clears throat> and uh, that was two dollars, which is pretty cool. This one was a dollar, and then everything else is by weight. And I think my total was like fifteen something. Uh, I found a Genesis game, it's, uh, Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. I found an ar a, uh, a Capcom arcade stick for the Super Nintendo. Really cool. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then, let's see. I found two of these uh, gold Pokemon Mewtwo cards in their little plastic cases, and these are plated in 23 karat gold, and I actually found a little certificate of authenticity with one of them, um, and they originally came in these red and white Pokeballs that doubled as stands, but uh, couldn't find those, but still, plated in 23 karat gold, paying by weight, it's not bad. Um, I found a bunch of these little Game Boy colors that are like little games, and they came from Burger King. 
and you get these little, these little, uh, they look like Game Boy cartridges, and they have a Pokemon on there, and you can't play the game unless you put one of them in there, and then it allows you to play the game. Um, so I got this one, I got this one, and I got this one. And then I also got a bunch of the little the little games that you put in there, like a handful of them. There's a bunch of them there. I found a battery cover for a silver Game Boy Advance. I found another little Game Boy Pokemon toy. You put a little ball in there, you press the button, it shoots out. Um, here's a certificate of authenticity. I found the battery cover for a white Wii remote. I found this little game. It, it works and it says Xbox right there, which is kind of weird. <clears throat> I found a, a Leapster game. I found a Leapfrog game. I found a green stylus for a DS. I found a Japanese trainer Pokemon card, which is a rare. And then I found this handheld tiger uh, Caesar's Palace poker game. Uh, it turns on, it works, and this is from 1993. Um, I know the tiger games can be worth some money, but it's mostly like the Mega Man, Castlevania kind of stuff. But this one is Caesar Palace, which is a pretty well known uh, game series. So I got this just because it's it's by weight, so it's going to be super cheap and you know it might be worth something. Um, so that's all for Goodwill. Um, on top of all this, um, I, we, I said that we found that that box full of toys that we brought home, and I actually found a couple things in there. I found this handheld SpongeBob Yahtzee game. Uh, it turns on and works, and I looked this up on eBay. They're going for like eight to ten dollars after shipping. And I also found this weird. Uh, target camera kind of thing, but it's actually a gift card, so there might be some money on that. Probably not though, but I'll check. And then I found another one of those little Leapfrog type games, and then this little Wii Remote toy. But here's the box that we found. <clears throat> it's really big, so <clears throat> I'm gonna look through that some more tomorrow. And until next time. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey everybody, it's Cooper here, and this video is very important. Um, if you guys know anybody that might be interested in watching this after you see it, please send it to them or tell them about it, because I need as many people to see this as possible. Um, I have an opportunity to buy a pretty amazing bundle of factory sealed Nintendo 64 items. Um, I, I think it's a pretty good deal. I have looked up some of the games, but a lot of them... I can't find prices on because they're not on eBay. They're not currently on eBay, they're not in the eBay completed listing, so it's pretty hard for me to determine what they're worth. Um, so basically this video is to reach out to all you guys on YouTube and hopefully some, some collectors out there, and I'm trying to find people that might be interested in purchasing some of the stuff off of me because it is a lot of money to spend and I do need to, I do need to, to resell most of it, if not all of it. Um, so what I'm getting is for $450, I'll be getting, it's everything's factory sealed. I'll be getting a system in the box, I'll be getting a factory sealed system and an extra red controller. And then, I can't remember, I can't remember all the games, but the ones I do remember are Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, Killer Instinct Gold, uh, Resident Evil 2, Doom 64, uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire, and Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, um, Glover, let me see, I know there's, there's one, there's one sport game and one wrestling game, I think the sport game is like NBA hang time and wrestling is... WCW versus NWO World Tour, and then there's Turok and Perfect Dark. Uh, let me see. 
like I said, I can't remember all the ones off the top of my head, but basically what I need from you guys is if you're interested in buying any of this stuff, please let me know. Um, I am willing to sell it cheaper than it's going for on eBay, but I can't sell it for too much cheaper because I am investing so much money into this. Um, I haven't got a chance to look at it uh, in, in person or with pictures yet. I'll be getting pictures tomorrow. Um, assuming that everything is good, um, I will probably be buying the whole bundle. Um, I have first dibs on this. It's not posted on eBay or Craigslist or anything, so um, I'm really excited to see what the stuff looks like, and if some of the games are pretty pretty perfect, I'll probably be getting some of them uh, VG graded or VGA graded, um, like the Super Mario 64 and probably the Donkey Kong 64 and both Zeldas. Um, I saw one Mario 64 that was that was graded sell on eBay for like 350 bucks, and then one that wasn't graded sold or didn't sell for 180. So the price can fluctuate a lot. I was thinking if I don't get it graded and it is in good condition, I'd probably be asking about 150 on that just to give you guys an idea of the price. Like, of course, some of the games were pretty cheap. Like Perfect Dark Factory Sealed is selling for like 10 dollars after shipping. So some of them are fairly cheap, but um, I do need to find some people out there that are interested in buying the stuff, and hopefully you guys can let me know uh, as soon as possible, because, you know, if I buy all this stuff and then I, if I put it on eBay or if I try and sell it and I just can't make my money back at least, then it'll be very bad for me because I do need money. <laughs> uh, 450 bucks is going to take more than what I have right now, so I will need to sell more stuff to get them. Um, but he also has like some accessories that are factory sealed, like rumble packs and memory cards and stuff like that. Um, but I did add up, I did, I did add up the prices I could find, and then for the sports games, I averaged those out to like five or ten dollars, and then for the other games that weren't that I couldn't find. I kind of averaged out to 20 bucks each, um, like the Resident Evil, Doom, Forsaken, uh, the Star Wars games, and uh, Killer Instinct. I just kind of averaged those out to about 20 bucks each because I couldn't find prices on them. Um, and if I if I sell everything for what I kind of think I might be able to get, then I will do pretty well on the whole bundle. Um, I could I could probably sell it for about 700. If, if my prices are accurate, um, hopefully I can get as much as possible. But you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be asking like eBay prices or above. Just kind of close to them, but still kind of give you guys a deal and give you guys first dibs. So, yep. Yeah, like I said, just please pass this around if you can. Um, tell your friends. Tell your friends on eBay. Post it to your Facebook or whatever. Um, I know it's probably not not uh, possible, but if I could maybe get some, some bigger channels to maybe shout out the video or something like that, or if I could get someone uh, like, a, like a really big collector to take interest, it'd be really cool because, you know, I'm moving to Florida in September, of course I need all the money I can get, and this would be a good, a good investment if I have people to sell it to, because um, I, I really... I really am afraid to kind of buy the bundle in the first place because it is so much money. But hopefully everything works out and hopefully some of you guys are interested in this stuff. So please let me know if you are interested in anything or if you know anybody that might be. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, so um, I forgot to film the last time I went to the outlet. Um, and I do have some stuff here that I'm not sure if I've shown it or not already in this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys some stuff that I found. I found a DS game at the outlet, um, ATV and Monster Trucks Mayhem. It's really small, it's hard to read, but I found that. Um, it was by weight, so it's probably like a nickel. Um, I found Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It's missing the manual and its greatest hits, and the disc is really scratched. Um, but, you know, I might be able to get it buffed out. It has the back, but no manual. And then I got two 
Super Nintendo games from Goodwill. I got Super Mario World for $5. And Tiny Toons B-Ball. Or Looney Tunes B-Ball, sorry. That was also $5. These are both going for about 10 bucks each. So it's not an amazing deal, but it's not bad. Uh, then I found a strategy guide at the outlet. This was 25 cents. And that's Pokemon Ruby version. It's in pretty rough shape. There's a big tear out of here, but, you know, it's a quarter, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Then I also found another one of these uh, Guitar Hero or Rock Band uh, 360 pedals. Um, these sell for about 15 on eBay if you have, like, a, an original one, not, like, an off-brand. <clears throat> and then I found a little extender piece for Xbox 360 controller. I found this uh, Atomic Purple Nintendo 64 controller, but the cord was cut. Um, the joystick is pretty pretty nice though, and it's uh, Atomic Purple, so I can just take the insides out and use it uh, to fix another controller. And then I also found a gray Nintendo 64 controller. This one also has a good joystick, and this one doesn't have the cord cut on it. <clears throat> and then... I found two of these purple GameCube controllers. They both are missing the rubber on the joystick, but other than that, they're in pretty nice condition. Um, got both of those, and then um, I also found two uh, Nintendo AV cables from the outlet. So, uh, pickup video's not done. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Hey everybody, it's Cooper here, and this is like my 50th attempt at doing this video. So, if I don't seem too excited anymore, that's why. But um, this is going to be the last part of the video because there's just so much stuff I have to show you guys. Um, uh, basically, I did a Craigslist deal, and then I bought some stuff from my neighbor. So um, I'll just start off and show you what I got. Um, first off, okay, everything I'm going to show you is from the Craigslist deal, and I'll tell you how much I got it for and all that at the end. So I got a messed up manual for Rise of the Dragon for the Sega CD. Um, Obviously, it's been folded in half. And I have a box and manual that are both kind of messed up for Menacer, for the Genesis. And then I have um, an insert or a poster for an Atari system. And then I have an Atari 2600 Junior that's dismantled. Don't know what I'm going to do with that, but... Um, let me just go ahead and show you kind of an overview of what of the games I got. If I can even fit them all. So there they are. Got stacks and stacks. Piles and piles of games here. So. Hopefully I'm still on camera. So. Basically. There's 2600 games. There's Intellivision. There's Odyssey. There are ColecoVision. There's. Texas Instrument home computer games. There's just a bunch of stuff. Some stuff I don't even know what it is. So, um, I'm not in, I'm not into collecting this stuff, but I knew it was a good deal when I saw it. So, um, if you guys know if any of these games are worth money at all, please let me know. Um, obviously, I know so I know a little bit. Like I know Pac-Man and you know just like standard games like Space Invaders and stuff like that aren't worth money, but you know. I definitely did get a good deal, I know that for sure. So if there's anything in here that stands out that you guys know is worth money or rare, like at least five bucks, just let me know. Um, and if, of course, if you're interested in anything, please let me know. Um, I will look up the games after this video, but, you know, it's going to take me forever because there's over, there's probably at least 150 games here. So let's jump into it. Um... I don't know, I think this is uh, in television, but I'm not sure. And I'm not going to name every system there for, just the titles. You can tell by the cartridge. Space Hawk. I'll put them in this box here. 50 Telegames. Pitfall 2. Lost Caverns. Qbert. And these are also really dusty and dirty. Uh, Game Without a Label. Space Battle. Another game without a label. I don't know what system this is for. It looks really familiar, but I'm not sure, so let me know. There's a few of those games in here. Pitfall. 
another pitfall. This really weird un uh, unlabeled cartridge. Not sure what the heck that is, but let me know if you know. <sighs> Some Odyssey 2 games. Take the Money and Run. UFO. Well, the label just came off this one. It's uh, Invaders from Hyperspace. We have Blackjack. Look how dusty these are, guys. It's crazy. Another Blackjack. Bowling and Basketball. Subchase and Armored Encounter. Showdown in 2100 AD, Take the Money and Run, Speedway Spin Out Crypto Logic, Matchmaker Buzzword Logics, Cosmic Conflict, and an unlabeled game. There's a lot of those unlabeled games in here. Uh, football, Alpine Skiing, Pickaxe Pete. Casey Munchkin. Unlabeled game. Speedway spin out Crypto Logic. Mathemagic and Echo. Baseball. And Quest for the Rings. It's a pretty cool looking cover on that one. Computer Golf. Out of this world and helicopter rescue. Another gold label one, Conquest of the World. It's got a loose piece in there. Cosmic Conflict. Another computer golf. <sighs> so dusty. If I'm gasping for air, that's why, because I have a problem with dust. Bowling and Basketball. Showdown in 2100 AD. Casey Munchkin. UFO. Obviously there's going to be some doubles in here. <clears throat> Mathemagic and Echo. I've got your number. Football. Twenty telegames. Stampede. An unlabeled game. Yars Revenge. Fishing Derby, some more Odyssey 2 games here, Subchase and Armored Encounter, Thunderball, Volleyball, Computer Intro, um, Astro Smash, G.I. Joe Cobra Strike, the ColecoVision game, Zaxxon, Unlabeled, 16 Telegames, Riddle of the Sphinx, Spider-Man, Skiing, Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Night Driver, 3 Telegames, Sky... Skydiver, Street Racer, Combat, Othello, Skiing, Pac-Man, Nine Telegames, Star Trek for the ColecoVision, Donkey Kong for the ColecoVision, Video Chess, Superman, Space Jockey, Human Cannonball, E.T., Raiders of the Lost Ark, Hangman, Brainstorming, Basketball, uh, this label is horrible, but it's Smurf for the ColecoVision, Ugh. can't breathe in here. Missile Command, Real Sports Baseball, Combat, 
Defender, Warlords, Video Olympics, Circus Atari, another Yars Revenge, a different cover for Othello, Space Invaders, Asteroids, Sub Rock for the ColecoVision, uh, Space Hawk, Unlabeled, Frogger, Donkey Kong Jr., Football, Pac Man, another ET, Surround. Missile Command, another ET, 27 telegames, 8 telegames, Defender, Basketball, Video Pinball, got 3 more stacks here, uh, Venture for the Intellivision, Super Cubert with a rip, ripped off label, um, game here that I can't read. Label's completely messed up. Super Challenge Football. Two telegames. Save those ones for the end. Warlords. Space Invaders. Berserk. Two copies of that. Three telegames. Golf. Combat, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Video Pinball, Dodgem, Star Voyager, 8 Telegames, Boxing, Chopper Command, another Human Cannonball. Oh man, these are going to fall. Galaxian, I think it is. Backgammon. Another Yars Revenge. And then these are, all these next ones are the, uh, they're Texas Instruments Home Computer Command Module. Um, I kind of feel like these might be worth something, just because I've never seen them or even heard of the computer or system or whatever it is, I'm not even sure. Um, if they're worth anything though, please let me know. If you're just interested, let me know. We have TI Invaders, Adventure, Videographs, another TI Invaders, Munchman and Car Wars, and then we have Amazing and Hunt the Wumpus. So. That is what I got from the guy on Craigslist. He delivered those to my house for 20 bucks, which is a crazy, 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 crazy amount of stuff for that cheap. Um, originally the ad, like I said, the ad said 40 Odyssey, 57 Atari, and then some miscellaneous carts, but, you know, three garbage bags full of games, I wouldn't just call miscellaneous carts, you know? And there was a bunch more Odyssey and and television and stuff like that in those, so that was pretty cool. And then right after buying that, um, I brought it inside, kind of looked through it a little bit, walked outside, and my neighbor was like, hey, do you want to buy a Super Nintendo? And she had it with her right there, so I was like, yeah, sure, let me take a look. So I gave her 70 bucks, and this is what I got. Here's the system. It's yellowed. It does work, but it's got stuff inside. Pretty, a lot of stuff in there. Pretty noisy. Came with uh, two nice controllers and the cords. And then I've got a stack of games here, probably around 17 to 20. So we've got Paperboy 2 with Dust Cover, Disney's Aladdin, Super Pinball Behind the Mask, Dirt Tracks FX. A lot of these had dust covers too, which is cool. Uh, Vegas Stakes, 
Now I've I have a box for this, so an extra box. So I actually have two box copies of that now. Street Fighter 2. I've got two copies of this and two copies of Super Street Fighter 2. Top Gear with a dust cover. Super Off-Road, the Baja with a dust cover. Mortal Kombat, Mrs. Pac-Man. And then, these are the good games. Now we've got Super Mario Kart. Super Mario World. Super Mario All-Stars. Donkey Kong Country. With a little Diddy Kong sticker. The Lost Vikings, Rock and Roll Racing, and Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So all these good games have the dust covers on them. Um, so here's all the good ones. Um, I gave her 70 bucks for the whole bundle, which is it's, a, it's still a good deal. And she did say that she wanted me to be able to make some money because she knows I buy and sell. Um, normally. I'd probably offer a little bit less if it was someone I didn't know, like a, like someone off Craigslist, but, you know, 70 is still a really good deal, so, um, yeah, so those are my pickups, um, I hope you guys are enjoying, and I'd like to thank all my new subscribers, um, since I've been doing my contest, I've gained a lot more recently, which is understandable, um, right now I'm at like 233, which is amazing, and I just want to thank all you guys for all your support, and watching my videos, commenting, uh, thumbing them up, and, you know, it's really cool to to have other gamers enjoy what I'm doing and like to see what I get. So hopefully you guys are going to stick around and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next.